The foreign exchange or FX market is the largest of the three markets available for trading. And a lot of margin traders make or lose big money in these markets by betting on the direction of currency prices. It is also the most widely used markets as most of us are affected by foreign exchange fluctuations when we work and earn in different countries. In foreign exchange markets, prices of currencies are quoted in pairs as rates that is one currency called the base currency against another currency called the terms currency. Therefore, FX market participants watch interest rate differentials rather than the interest rates of a single country. By the end of the session, we will be able to understand how the interest rate differentials have an impact on the exchange rate movements between two currencies. Let us begin by understanding what interest rate differentials and carry trades are and why they are important for the foreign exchange markets. Interest rate differentials are basically the difference in interest rates between two similar assets or deposits. Therefore, if the US dollar one month interest rate was say 3% and the British pound one month rate was say 6%, the interest rate differential is 3% between the pound and the US dollar. To understand the carry trade, we see that one can borrow 1.45 million USD at 3%, sell USD and buy 1 million GBP at the current exchange rate of 1.45 and place the 1 million pounds in a one month deposit. One can then earn the interest rate differential of 3% annualized and make a gain of 0.25 basis points. If the pound stalling rate remains unchanged after one month, then the total return would be the return earned on the interest rate differential. However, if the currency moves to 1.46 after one month, one could sell the 1 million sterling and the gains made on the deposit at a decent profit. However, if the exchange rate falls to 1.44, then this trade suffers a loss. As long as the interest rate differential remains the same, investments in the British pound would continue to remain attractive. Now let's assume that the US dollar rates move from 3% to 4%, bringing the differential down to 2%. The sterling USD carry trades now look less attractive since the interest rate spreads have decreased. In addition, as we have seen in the earlier sessions in bond markets, when the dollar interest rates move north, bond prices head south, making the US bond markets very attractive for foreign investors. Foreign investors will therefore need to buy dollars against their domestic currencies in order to invest in the US bond markets, thereby increasing the demand for dollars and pushing its rate up against the other currencies. Hot money flows in and out of a country is an important reason for a currency's depreciation or depreciation. A higher dollar interest rate also decreases the interest rate differentials between the dollar and other currencies such as the yen, euro, yuan, making the US a hot destination for dollar investments. We now understand the functioning of the FX markets relevant for our purpose and the key determinant of FX movements which is the interest rate differential. We saw in this section that in whatever market you are invested in, it is of utmost importance to have a working knowledge of what economic factor influences that particular market and in what capacity. To predict the direction of financial markets, we need to ultimately predict the direction of interest rates, growth rates and inflation rates. Congratulations for finishing the first section. We move on to one of the most crucial concepts for you to understand the gross domestic product. We begin with some basic economic definitions required for understanding the GDP concepts, how the GDP is computed, its impact on the financial markets, and its historical context in the economy. Mm -hmm.